Welcome back to Checkpoint. Now, a section of uh, Jubilee leaders, including Deputy President William Ruto, have dismissed the new lineup announced by NASA, saying they should brace themselves for defeat in the August general election. Speaking in Narrow County today, the leaders accused NASA of plotting to cause chaos if their candidate does not win in the election. They said they will not allow lawlessness during and after the poll. The influential wing of elders at the coast of Kenya, the Kaya elders, has kicked off a storm over the NASA lineup for the August polls. The elders say they are disappointed in the manner in which power was shared and they feel the coast region was left out. As KTN's coast reporter Francis Ontoma now reports, the elders are now threatening to chart a different political direction for the region unless their place is well defined. Just when NASA was about to set out to sell their lineup for the August 8 presidential polls, the Kenya elders at the Kenyan coast were coming out to say what they thought about the arrangement. And while the coalition incessantly says theirs is the national agenda, these elders are not convinced. They say the coast region has been glaringly left out. There is a specific grievance. There is no representation of the cost in the lineup. Mombasa Governor Hassan Ali Joho is the deputy party leader of ODM. And so is the presidential flag bearer Raila Odinga. But still they say Joho ought to have made it to the Pentagon. Tukiangalia Isaac Ruto ambapo yeye aliunga na NASA hivi juzi tu ni mgeni kwa NASA. Lakini amewekwa mbele kabisa kama ni mmoja katika wale mashujaa ambao wanaipigania mabadiliko katika nchi kama hii. And they seem to know where the political wind is taking them to. Hatutaka tutekwe nyara. Sisi kazi kubwa hapa kwani ni kuletewa maunga watoto wapotee akili eh ni kuletewa mambo watoto wapigwe waambiwe ni nini na maendeleo kule and it is not just the coast region a section of leaders from the Waipa party and others from western kenya have punched holes into the new arrangement claiming they have gotten a raw deal tunaona pale tumepungukiwa kwa sababu tulikosa chama cha kuweza kutuwakilisha katika mrengo huu the secretary general of Waipa party hassan omar also from the coast is of a different view on this subject. But the coastal region has always rallied itself around issues and not personality. This experiment right now of trying to rally people around personalities is a new experiment. Coast has never rallied around personality. We voted for Kibaki and Mass in 202. Who told us? A vocal coastal leader. Issues. Since the days of the late Ronald Ngala, the coast region has grappled with a quest to position a kingpin. And it is the late cabinet minister, Carissa Maida, who almost attained this. But death cut short the dream. Observers will be keen following on how the latest political landscape will shape up. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Mombasa.
right, so we were just attempting to do a bit of a fact check, yes? With that statement from Hassan Omar, that's a story for another day. It looks like every time these days we're looking out for what persons are saying and trying to determine whether they're true or not. Ladies and gentlemen, Alphonse Shundu is the Kenya editor for Africa Check, and he joins me tonight. So, today we're not taking a look at somebody's statement or the other, yeah? No, today we're not looking at claims. Today yeah. we are equipping people with tools to identify to fact check for themselves things they interact with online. Okay, yeah. so we'll be taking a look at that. I'm informed we need to take a quick break to fix an issue with your mic. We'll be right back because there's some interesting things. I posted something on Twitter <laughs> and the hate was interesting. Or rather I didn't post it, but we'll tell you all about that. Let's take a break, we'll be right back.